some new guidelines out this morning about how to perform life-saving CPR. This is something everyone should know about, and so our Dr. Richard Besser is here to explain the new guidelines and how to do it correctly. And so what is new here, Rich? Well, if you ever took a course in CPR, they taught you the ABCs, airway, breathing, and chest compression. They just turned it on its head and said you have to start with chest compressions, and then if you've been trained, then you move on to the airway and the breathing. And so now they're saying everyone, because a few months ago, weren't they saying that bystanders should strictly do the chest compressions? Now they're saying everyone? That's right. We taught people here, just do the chem, uh, chest compressions. Mm -hmm. But what they're saying is for everyone, getting that circulation going right away can save lives. And so that's the reason they're changing the technique. That's right. All right. We're going to show people the proper way to do it. But you said even before you attempt CPR, there's things you should do. There are. There are three things you need to do. The first thing when you find someone who's down, give them a shake and make sure that they're truly unresponsive. Mm -hmm. Then turn and say, Robin, call 911. Okay. And, and then if you have an external, uh, automatic external defibrillator, like we showed this summer, mm -hmm. you use that and, and that can give them a shock. Then you begin your CPR. People it's, are always concerned, Rich, that they're going to be pushing too hard and punch a lung you or really crack a rib or something. You really can't push too hard. That's right. Two inches down is the way to go. Measure between the navel and the nose. Halfway between, put your hand there. Straight, straighten your arms, and it's very easy. You just push 100 beats per minute. 100 beats 100 per beats, minute. that's right. And when we did this, oh, it was about a year or so ago, it was very effective. Someone said that when you're doing it, if you just think of the song, staying alive, staying alive, ha, 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 that staying alive, that, that lets you, you don't have to move with Much it. Much easier, Robin. But it does give you It does, it gives reference. you that rhythm. It gives you the exact rhythm to go. And okay. many people are concerned that they're, they're going to push too hard. You mm -hmm. really can't. The harder, the faster, the better. But it remind us again to call 911, That's shake right. the body. And if you have the automatic external defibrillator, use it. It's the first time I'm taller than you. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rich.